As the title say, today is a battle between two monsters. Here's one of them. Yeah, we're not gonna hide anymore. Whew. There we go. Whew. The king, 100 megapixels. I'm Jace. And I'm Z from the Z Productions YouTube channel. What good about this camera? Apart from being really expensive, is that good? $10,000. I mean, it's 102 megapixels. Like, if we compare these two. I'm not dropping anything important, but just a lens cap. Chill, man, chill. Like strictly disregarding everything else and just looking at a roughly 50 megapixel sensor versus a 102 megapixel sensor, that's roughly 100 US dollars you're paying for each megapixel. Yep. But 102 megapixels, that means you get massive images measuring 11,648 by 8,736 pixels. Those are <laughs> you know massive it. image massive. files. Um, this camera can do 4K video, 10-bit internal 420 wow. and external 422 with Full image sensor. stabilization on a medium format sensor. That's yeah. pretty impressive. Oh, but this is not what we're going to talk today. Today we're going to compare just the megapixels. Is this any good 50 megapixels versus 100 megapixels? Twice the number of megapixels, twice the price point. Are the results twice as good? Let's find out. Alright, we're just back from Cybergyre. We're now back in Pixel Peeping Town. Yeah. Pixel Peeping Simulator 2019 Q4 Edition. We're As going you to can pixel see, peep a lot of pixels. On the screen, we have two color tones. The red and the yep. green. The red so, will be the GFX, GFX 100. 100. Okay. Color coded the 50S to green. Yeah, so we're we're having, looking at these two buildings. Yeah, GFX 100 is on the left. 50S is on the right. So the one on the left supposedly has twice the number of pixels in the one on the right, but at a glance, um, if we don't punch them in, you can barely see any difference at all. So right now we're gonna go one to one ratio. Yep. Actually at one to one, not too huge of a difference either. No. Actually, is it just me or the 50S image actually kind of looks sharper? Ish. I, it looks like I have some It, it kind of looks yeah. crunchier. Like, it's let's got a go bit in punch two to, to one. And let's see. All okay, you will see the GFX 100 is slightly bigger and closer yeah, than yeah. the GFX because of the pixel. The difference in megapixels. That's yeah. why when we zoom it in and we move it off center, the framing doesn't match perfectly. It's because one of the images is bigger. Okay, let's go crazy. 4 to 1. Ooh, 4 to 1. And you can definitely see there's more megapixels. Uh, on yeah, the there's a lot more pixels to work with on the 100 than the 50S. This one we are shooting speed. on 110 mm uh, from uh, Fuji Frames. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And love uh, that. Of course, it's F8. We're gonna put a comparison in here. Okay, that sign that says Quill 18, yeah? Let's go one to one. Ah! Okay. Is that Mori I'm yeah. seeing? <laughs> yeah, it's I think so. It's quite a bit Mori. It, uh, it's not just a preview thing, is it? Let's confirm bring it. it all the way in. Let's bring it all the way in. Three to one. It's definitely a Moray. That is most definitely Moray. On the 50S, that's the yeah. one on the left. Not seeing any Moray on the 100 actually. So I, I guess that says something about the 50S kind of looking crunchier. Uh, yeah. It's got less anti-aliasing going on I suppose. I'm not too sure, we'll have to check on that. But at this rate, it does seem like the 100 has a bit more anti-aliasing going on. Okay, let's go back to the signboard there. Yeah, now we're looking at the grill behind the, the sign. Okay, okay. 4 to 1. Yep. Yep, definitely a lot, lot more pixels on 100 for us to work with. The 50S, um, in terms of actual resolution and detail, it's there, but it just pixelates yep. a bit more easier. So once we go back to the uh, fit, so nothing much. Yeah, you, you can literally see. can't see the difference. Yep. Okay, next task. Let's go to the human. Ooh, oh, look at this handsome man. Yep. I, I heard if you swing by Lens Ivory, there is like a chance that he spawns there. Like, one so to this one. is one to one. It's definitely more post-processing happening on GFX 50 there. The 100 looks a bit more raw, yeah. Yep. Okay, we are not comparing any color or dynamic range, okay. so put that aside. Just pixel itself. Just pixels. So let's go to 3 to 1, why not, this time. Alright, pay attention to the nose. Ooh. Yeah, I can see some different there. 
yeah, you can push it definitely much, uh, much more on the 100. Like you can get away with a much larger enlargement. What about uh, the before hair? Before details start falling out. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, the hairline difference. <laughs> yeah, I would say no pun intended, <laughs> but <laughs> but it's there. Okay, so this will be it. And okay, to put them really at the extreme level of testing, we oh bring this. Diotus, one of the best lenses in the lens library, yep. one of the best resolve. Probably the sharpest lens in lens library. Uh, it's not exactly made for medium format, but we put it on there anyway. Yep. And as you can tell with that tiny bit of vignetting that we caught it's in the two upper here. corners, um, we can tell that this lens is almost covering medium format, but not quite there yet. Okay, that, yeah, let's push it all the way to 3 to 1. Yep. So now clearly you can see smoother on the 100, definitely a bit more artifacts. Um, coarser image quality. Is that quality. a little bit of more happening here uh, on the on roof? the roof part with like the really fine tiles of detail, the 50S is no slouch at all. All that detail resolution is there, the GFX just has more pixels filling in yep. so you can, you know, see more of it. I wouldn't really say you can see more of it though. Now you can see. Okay, now you can see more Side of it. Bot. This is really, really distant though, but you can see it's resolving the detail, but if you try and read the text, it's remotely possible on the GFX yep. 100, but no way you can make out some of that really small text on the um, 50S. 50. And the 50 is kind of like the, even the noise and the pattern. Yeah, the pattern noise is, pattern seems a yeah. bit more in your face than yes. the 100. The 100 is a bit more suppressed in that respect. Um, let's punch it back out to fit. Now, okay, so pay attention on yeah. these uh, red things, uh, signboard. We've almost taken this for granted, but is that, that is all the way, that tiny bit yeah. of the image. Really, really small bit of the image. People are expecting GFX 100 to, to be, be twice, as good. twice as good as I think one thing many people um, don't realize right away is even though they have twice the number of megapixels, the mm. image's dimensions don't exactly double. Like to double the dimensions, you actually need four times what? more pixels. Yeah. It's like 1080p versus 4K because it's a square. So you gotta like square it. Two yes. squared is four. This is called 100 megapixels. So it's 11,648 by 8,736. Yes. On the 50S, it's 8,256 by 6,192. The difference between them is about 3,000 pixels over 2,000 pixels. Yeah, yeah. in terms of each, yes. um, each axis. So it's not that big of a difference. Yeah, yeah your image doesn't magically like the way we imagine it, yeah, it gets like twice as large. Yeah. Well, honestly, that was actually a bit unexpected. I was genuinely expecting like a day and night difference because so it's I. twice the megapixel count. So I was literally expecting like images twice as detailed, but apparently it's not the case. I think maybe for twice the price, you should just get two of these, <laughs> you know? I guess it's where the law of diminishing returns really kicks in. We're paying double for Slight improvement, I guess, if you can call slight, that. Slight, you call it slight, I call it like a hairline <laughs> improvement. Because only you can go to the ratio of 4 to 1 pixel, then you can nail some slight different out of it. Okay, because this is already an amazing camera. Let's, yeah. yeah, this is already a, an amazing camera. Like the usual one, the full review is not by me, but by you! By me! I mean, Because you have a season going... Yeah, to I mean, I wouldn't really call it a full review, but the next the next video you're going to be seeing this camera on is going to be a YX Expensive video. So we are kicking off the second season of YX Expensive with this, the Fujifilm GFX 100, 10,000 US dollars. I'm pretty sure it's earned itself the right to be on YX Expensive. And if you miss out the last seasons, check you out the last season. Check out. Binge watch it or something and I'll give you a cookie. I'll buy you a cookie if you binge watch the last season in one sitting. If you are a Malaysian and you are so happy in Malaysia, String by Lens Library, get your hands on on this particular monster and many many more gears. Yep. I should see you around and uh, like, share, subscribe, subscribe, comment, hit the bell icon, yes. blah blah blah, Do everything you can to support Do us. your YouTube things. Yes. Thank you. It's the size of my face. This little $10,000. Good luck to you, full review. Okay. I mean, we can do this.